Hello and welcome to the second part of how to make cutscenes in Unity using Unity Cinemachine Timeline and VR Capture. And so if you haven't watched the first part, I'll leave a card in the top right corner that to take you to that first part. But with that said, we can continue on from where we left off in the previous video. So let's begin. save that and next so next we're going to have that highlighted right there but first i'm going to just reset the transform so that's been reset and go back to our main priority which is the first cam there so say 22 again and now i'm going to go down here and say create so it's going to create for us and we're just going to name this I'll name it as uh, cutscene. So that's our cutscene. I'm going to save it, save it wherever. Now that that's been created, I'm just going to delete this track. So I'm going to delete, and instead, I'm going to create. I'm going to add an animation track so I'm going to say animation track so I'm going to add that and in there we're going to add our character I'm going to say that and in here we're going to say add animation add from animation clip so I'm going to select uh, the clip that I used here the animation which is Adam walk so now this is uh, this is weird oh okay so it has repositioned itself let's put it back in place so i'm going to reposition this character i'm going to move in here and i'll move him or drag him back to where he's supposed to be okay so just somehow there okay and then move him right there and a bit behind as well Okay, now I'm going to just drag that there and I'm going to extend this animation and uh, now I'm going to add our camera here so I'm going to drag that in here and I'm going to say add cinemachine track so I'm going to add that and now in our cinemachine track we can add our camera so I'm going to say add cinemachine shot I'm going to add that and here is where we place our camera which is going to be our first one here that's the camera camera one so I'm going to add that there so that's our first animation done and just drag that and drag it okay I'm going to add our second one so add cinema machine shot just going to drag this there and I'm going to add our second camera so add that there Okay, now I'm going to add a third, so same process, add and add our camera there, third camera, and I'm going to just extend this animation a little bit longer, and we can scrub through here to see what we have, so I'm going to just start from there, okay, and we switch to our second camera. And we switch to a third. And okay, so now let's add our fourth camera. So add another track. So I'm going to say add animation shot. I'm going to drag that in there. And I'm going to say fourth. I'm going to add that. That's our fourth camera. And I'm going to extend the animation as well. So let's see how that is. So we play on from here, third and our fourth. Okay, great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to add our last clip that's going to show our our player's face. So we're going to go here, add the shot. So I'm going to drag that in, and we're going to add our face camera again. So I can show our first camera 
so I'm going to extend this for the last time and there we go now let's uh, see how our animation goes okay 13 14 and the last scene great that's great now what we're going to do here is we're going to smoothen out how our scene is changed so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just drag this in here so that the transition can be smooth i'll drag this one too and uh, i'm going to drag the, the next one too the third i'm going to drag it into nope drag that in there the longer you drag it the more smoother the animation the transition will be so drag it in and uh, let's see how we're doing here Let me just drag that okay so great okay nice okay so now let's just play this back and see what we have okay second camera third camera our fourth camera and back to first camera great that's wonderful okay so with that done there we can add our last clip and our last clip is going to be another virtual camera so we're going to say window we're going to go down to or we're going to go to cine machine virtual camera add that last one and this one we're going to say for the player we're going to say follow and look at so we're going to say follow and look at the player so let's just see our camera so there is our camera you just have to adjust it so let me just position it we'll position the body let me just lift that okay i'm going to drag that forward so forward and now i'm going to change the aim of our camera so so that it can show that small transition from the background to where our player starts to walk so i'm going to just drag it a bit down there and we're going to reduce its height reduce that and try and position this okay just drop that let's drop it down and move it a bit uh, okay that's uh, getting close let's move it a bit there and drag it let's drag the z okay so now let me just make a small adjustment and uh, yeah great next let's see what we're going to do here um let me just add uh, let me and un solo that On our timeline, we're going to go to our timeline. So we're going to say timeline. So we are going to add uh, one more cinemation shot. So we're going to say add cinemation shot, and this will be for the fifth camera. We're going to say that. And uh, now what we're going to do here is, for this one, we're going to drag it to the first. I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to reduce 
its length so let me just reduce it okay it's, so it is not too long and let's just have a quick preview of how this is going to be okay so maybe maybe we shortened it too too much so i'm going to go back here and i'm going to drag this out again and now let's see what's going to turn out to be okay great The final thing that we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to go down to the asset store. So once you're in the asset store, just type in VR capture and you see this it's free, it's the free version. So you just click import and this is going to allow us to uh, record our cutscenes in the Unity editor. So once that appears there, just click import again. And it's going to import all the files okay now that that's done we can head back to our scene there uh, we're going to go to our game scene I'm just going to make the, the first camera our priority first so it's going to be like that and uh, next what we're going to do is I'm going to head to our camera so you head to where you've, you've placed your camera in your scene and I'm going to say we're going to say uh, video and we're going to say video capture I'm going to add that next again go down there we're going to say video capture control I'm going to add that and lastly we're going to say uh, video capture UI so I'm going to click on that that's been added and now this is the part where we record our scene so uh, there are a few settings that you have to handle with here so you can change your resolution uh, the, the frame size i'll put it on uh, this right here and next what we're going to say here is uh, encoding quality i'll put it on high uh, anti-aliasing i'll put it on four and uh, frame rate i'll put it on 24 frames per second uh, you can put whatever frame rate you want but i'll just leave it on 24 frames per second for now and uh, now we're going to make this uh, capture our video automatically so i'm going to say uh, debug start on awake and uh, capture time i estimated my capture time for this video to be uh, 32 seconds for this cutscene so i'm going to say just two seconds then after capture time you should quit and uh, i'm going to say size one and now i'm going to open this right here video capture and i'm going to say uh, in size one and i'm going to add our camera in here so i'm going to add that right there great now uh, now that's done we can just say let me just do this let me close that there i'm going to drag this scene right here so that you can tell that uh, it's capturing because uh once i press record it's uh it's going to, this game scene is going to go blank and won't be able to see what it's what it's doing so let me just do this so that you'll be able to see in the background so that now that you have all your settings done what's left to do here is just click on uh, play and it's going to start capturing 
and to stop once uh, it's done capturing so it started and there is a player moving it's recording right now so after 32 seconds it's going to stop recording okay so now that our recording is done we can just uh, scroll down here to video capture and uh, open save folder so you're going to open that up and uh, just click on your video and there is the clip that we just recorded and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video so that's how you record cutscenes in unity i hope you found this video helpful and if you did leave a like subscribe comment down below and uh thanks for watching